Hello everyone and welcome to a new nail video. I want, for those of you that have been ever wanting to try this yourself, try and do your own nails at home to get like quite a good understanding and also maybe the courage to try it out for yourself. Pretty much everything that I am using, at least the most like important things, you guys can get a hold of really easily. I will have links down below. They are also quite affordable. So if you want to start off and not just spend a bunch of money on it. And that is about it. Hope you guys are excited. Let's go ahead and do these nails. So this is how they look now. And I am going to try and do something quite simple for you guys. Uh, to start off with it's very trendy right now to do these like faded pink nails with eyeshadow so that's what i'm gonna try and do also maybe we're gonna do something like that i've saved like a bunch of nail videos like look how pretty that is and this also oh so let's just get started i'm gonna get my hair out of the way step number one with the prep is to push your cuticles back there's either a cuticle pusher like this one from kenny coat but you can also just use a wooden pusher uh, which is super easy to get a hold of just gonna lightly push them back so hard to do your right hand but like practice makes perfect and then you can leave it like this but i am going to go in with my e-file and a little cuticle bit and just get the skin around here uh, pushed back even more and also get rid of it that the cuticle that is still laying on the nail plate if that makes sense do not feel like you need to go and buy a e-file right away it's not anything that i did when i first started and yeah, you just really don't need it. But if you have been doing your nails at home for a while and just like want to keep it going, then I would really recommend investing in one. And this one is amazing and quite inexpensive compared to some others. The next step is also optional. Uh, I do think that the uh, result would just look a little bit neater, but some people don't even need this step at all. Uh, but I am going to just nip away with a cuticle nipper some of the cuticles. Here you guys can see that I have quite a lot of cuticles that are dead. Um, and it just looks really nice to nip that off. Be very careful when you do this because these cuticle nippers are very, very, are very, very, what are they? They are very sharp. <laughs> then you should buff the nail plate just to rough it up a little bit so everything that you put on will stick better. Some people do it with an e-file and these like sanding bits, but I think it works just as well with a normal nail file uh you should have like one that is like 100 and 180 let me know if i'm saying this wrong but i think that 180 is the finer side and that's the one that you should use on your natural nail and then the rougher side 100 i think you can use on like um fake nails just to shape it so i'm just gonna go in with the fine side and i'm just gonna lightly Go in like circular motions, as you guys can see, just to get rid of that shine. Also make sure that you get it right in where the cuticles are, because that's where the lifting usually happens. And there we have the nails all prepped. And this is very important to do to make your nails actually last. Then something that is also very important is to dehydrate your nails so you don't have any oils on your nails. You can use any type of uh, like 70% or higher alcohol if you have that, but I have gotten these like alcohol pads because it's just super simple and very handy in my opinion. So I'm just going to take one of these and then go ahead and cleanse the nail you can also get like nail cleanser but just make sure that it is for the prepping as well so it is um some sort of alcohol to really dehydrate the nail plate 
So there we have the nails all prepped and they are looking gorgeous. You can go ahead and skip the uh, dehydrator and the primer. I honestly don't know if it really helps that much. Uh, I've tried it without, but now just because I have it, <laughs> I'm gonna use it. But I don't think that this is necessary. The dehydrator you don't have to be quite um, as careful with to get like on your uh, fingers and stuff like that. But the primer you should not get on your skin. So just uh, keep it on the nail plate. Then a base coat. Base coat is... Fuck, now I have Tebow hair on my nails. Uh, base coat is quite important for some <laughs> gels. I would really recommend a base coat, but it kind of depends on what type of brand you are using. The brands that I have started out with have always said that you should use a base coat. So that is what I do. And I have noticed a huge difference with the products that I have when I use the base coat and when I don't. So I'm just gonna put this on, make sure I don't get it on the skin. And if I do get it on the skin, make sure to get rid of it uh, with like some alcohol before you cure it. Here we have our little nail lamp that I love so much. And we're gonna go for 60 seconds and cure that. These are soft gel tips um, that I just got on Amazon. I have some from McCart that I really love, that, but they are like never in stock. Um, so I had to buy these because I really wanted almond. Um, almond? Almond? Almond. Whatever. So I'm gonna size out my sizes and uh, you should size them so they are... You should not be able to see any of your nail plate. Like this one fits perfectly, but for example, if I put it here, there are some nail there and there are a bunch of nail on the other side. So I'm just gonna take a minute and make sure I get the right sizes. So to glue these on, you are using some kind of builder base. This is a transparent one, but it is from what I can tell, not cruelty-free. Unfortunately, I bought it without knowing that, but this is completely cruelty-free and you can get a hold of it very easily. Ugh. This is also a really pretty color, so you don't really have to worry about that. This is gonna probably look a little bit weird, <laughs> but to glue these on, you need obviously the lamp. I have a big one here, but it's kind of hard to get your finger under there because you have to hold it with your under ha other hand to like press it down while it is curing and some people have like a mini lamp i do have one of those but i really don't think that you need to get a mini lamp and a big lamp so i have bought a lamp that has the same type of light as my big lamp and i'm gonna hold this with my mouth to be able to flash cure, just to cure it a little bit. And then I can cure them all in my big lamp 60 seconds. But this is just to make sure that they stick. I'm gonna show you guys and we're just gonna <laughs> go with it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and take this builder gel and I'm gonna do a thin layer on my nail first. Then I'm gonna take the nail that is already etched inside. If you don't have this little, oh wait, I have to, there you guys can see it. It is like roughed up a little bit. If you don't have this, you can just go in with a file and just file it a little bit just to make sure that everything sticks. And now it's gonna look weird, but I'm gonna press this on where I want it while curing it with this little lamp. Okay. Like that. <laughs> Not weird at all. But now it is stuck there and I can put it in the big lamp for 60 seconds. But also if you have that mini lamp or if you get it in the kit or something, it is just so much more simple. You can see a video where I tried it out um, up here 
or there some somewhere up here so let me go ahead and do the rest of the nail and i'm obviously gonna look crazy but yeah enjoy <laughs> so now we have to file them into shape as you guys can see some of the full cover tips it's just not completely round as you guys can see so with that i'm just gonna go ahead and use my file and fix that lightly here also you can see that there's a little thingy right there you can file them shorter if you want or really do whatever you want also we are going to file around the cuticles and this is just to make them look more um, flushed to your nail like it doesn't look as fake so for that if you just have a nail file you are just gonna go ahead and do this around the whole cuticle part something like that and then i'm also going to just rough up the whole uh full cover tip so the gel polish that we put on will stick better so if you just have a file like this you go ahead and do that on all of the nails but as i do have an e-file i am going to go in with this and for that i think i'm gonna go in with this drill bit and then the sanding bit okay i kind of filed them off cam sorry about that but that was just because i went out and had dinner and then i came back and yeah, it was just easier to do it off cam. I don't know if you can tell, but it is looking so flush. You cannot see anywhere where the um, fake nail and my own nail like um, begins or ends. Now again, I am going to go in with a alcohol pad, just cleaning it and also the underside here. And now we are going to go in with some sort of gel polish just to make a nice base. I have two different colors here. Not sure which one I'm going to go for. I think this one. So I'm just going to go ahead. This is just a gel polish. So there's no... Uh, it's not the same thing as the builder base. Just so you guys know, you cannot use this uh, gel polish to adhesive. Like adhesive. This is just color. So I'm just gonna go in. Sorry about me being down here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get it perfect around the sides. That is so, so pretty. I absolutely love these gel polishes. They are so pretty. And there we have them. So, so pretty. Honestly, I could like leave them like this because this is just gorgeous in my opinion but we are obviously going to do a little bit more and i've seen that it is the easiest to excuse me my um audiobook <laughs> started i've heard that it's easier if you create a matte canvas before so i'm gonna go in with this matte top coat and we're gonna cure it for 60 seconds. Okay, this I have never tried before, so I actually don't know if it works, but yeah. I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow palette for paint and not your babe on a quite dense brush like this. And then I'm gonna take some of the pink and I'm just gonna dot it in. It seems like it, it's working quite well. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in the middle and then like blend it out a little bit. Like this way you can do it with any type of color. You can also do like an ombre super easily. And what else can you do? Like so much with this, so fun. If you are interested in my palette then it's also linked down below. Something like that maybe maybe a little bit more on this one 
And then I guess you should just go in with a top coat to seal it. And this is a glossy top coat. I am loving these nails. They are so, so cute in my opinion. And I kind of want to leave them like this, but at the same time, I don't because I want to do just a little bit extra. And as the chrome um, trend has been trending, <laughs> I kind of want to do something like that. Um, I tried some different methods here. So I put uh, a pink chrome. I only have a pink chrome, unfortunately, just on clear. That looks like that. And then I put it on a black gel that looks like this. And then I found a metallic silver eyeliner from Mixed Professional Makeup. And that's how that one looks. And I kind of want to try it. I've never heard that you can use eyeliner on uh, your nails. So I want to try that. Let's see, where is it? Yeah, this is the look. Um, so she uses uh, stickers, but I'm just going to try and paint this on. So I'm pretty much going to do exactly how she has it. <laughs> Let's try this. So I redid this nail and I think it is looking way better now. I also let it completely dry for about 10 minutes now. And I think that should be enough. Uh, I don't know exactly. I've never tried this. But let's just go ahead. Put some top coat on this. Okay. I don't want to go over it too many times. Because that I think it's going to start to bleed but it is looking good i think this could be something i can actually go over it quite a lot and it doesn't move at all oh my god you guys okay the last cure i'm gonna do uh the same type of uh as swirly things on this side as well and then i will be back for the final final result oh my god you guys i am so happy with this can you believe that i've done everything like detailed the pink uh and the chrome silvery thing with makeup who would have known i didn't know <laughs> but the, this is so so that is it for this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope that you guys have maybe learned something, maybe gotten a little bit excited about trying it yourself. Again, I will have everything listed down below if you want to try out the same things that I have. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. Please uh, subscribe if you want to see more nail videos and also subscribe if you want to see adding the makeup videos, the hair videos. I'm sure my hair is gonna be another color when you're watching this because I might actually dye tomorrow a completely different color that I've never had. <laughs> yes, have a great day and hopefully we will see each other in the next video. Bye guys.